I think we are reaching a pretty depressing saga of the Only Use Me Blade story. There have been plenty of other sagas that have gone on that are equally or maybe even worse in terms of how depressing they are. But this one is quite interesting because he spends about four and a half hours of his six hour stream being by himself. And he tries to fill that void with numerous things. A lot of things I cut out, but he tries to call basically everybody in his contacts. He's just like obviously getting hammered. I mean, he, he does a house tour probably like five times in this video. It's crazy. He is really down in the dumps. He misses Beck. Beck is gone, everybody. Feels sad. He has some other friend that's here for some reason. I don't know if they're friends or not because this dude came over here to help fix his tail light or his blinker or something and after like an hour he like took off. <laughs> you know they were they were talking like they're kind of friends but I don't know how Blade knows these people. I guess allegedly he lived here a couple years ago but I'm unfamiliar with that arc. Essentially the stream is probably going to be titled the most depressing only use me Blade stream. It's probably not the most depressing, but there are moments in this that just cut you to the core. So, without further ado, I present to you, Single and Afraid, Blade. Uh, kind of bad news, also. Uh, apparently, Chicken uh, is younger Terminator. I called him, he doesn't know why. He doesn't seem too upset about it. What a sad day, guys. Chicken Andy stream, his channel is gone. Dunzo. I'll be the first to admit that I have never really paid attention to Chicken Andy when he's not in Blade streams. Maybe he's intriguing, maybe he's not. I feel like a lot of these people just exhibit debauchery and it's hard to enjoy. And I made this comment with somebody in the comment section a couple days ago talking about Blade. There's something charming about Only Use Me Blade. I know I have written him off, I know I have said I hate him, and I don't care about his well-being, and all that's true, but there are moments in Blade's streams that are charming, where he's just like talking about a story, or he's sitting there making jokes with the fans, that sort of take me back to like the early Call of Duty commentary days, it's like, oh, I can see just a tiny glimpse of that old Blade in there, and in an alternate universe, he went with... Keemstar, he stopped drinking, they started up Drama Alert, because in case you guys didn't know, Blade and Keemstar came up with Drama Alert together, at least that's what Blade claims, because they watched a show on HBO, I think it was called like The Newsroom, it had the guy from Dumb and Dumber in it, I know it's not the, the best description of who the character is, but they essentially got that idea of, wow, you know, we really like this show about the news, why don't we do news on internet stuff? And thus Drama Alert started, but Blade couldn't kick the bottle, and one went on the stairway to heaven and the other went to the highway of hell. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't I don't drink and drive, I know I fucking made a mistake and it did happen. I apologize for it. Obviously I was so drunk I even fucking smoked in there, but um, I don't... He doesn't, guys. Don't worry. He cleared that up. It's not like uh, there are probably a half dozen that I can think of just off the top of my head of either Beck or him being either high or drunk and getting in the car and driving. That's just off the top of my head. Uh, it's also, I mean, he doesn't want to admit it, but sitting in your Cadillac and having the key in the ignition, regardless of what you're doing, even if you don't have any plans to drive anywhere, that's still, if, if a cop pulled up, and walked up to your window and breathalyzed you, you would get a DUI. Fun fact, that's a fun fact, Blady. So you can claim every time that you get in your Cadillac to listen to your music, which he's gonna do in this stream, when you're completely hammered, that that's not a DUI, technically I'm not driving the car, but technically it is. So I haven't heard him apologize. All I've heard is that he cried and complained to Billabong Matt to make him, I don't know, feel guilty and maybe take down the video. Sad dude, you're poor dude. Beck's daughter. Maybe not. There she is. Hi. 
Hi Nala, you want to say hi to the stream? Fair not. She's not too friendly, dude. All right, boys, the budget for pee pads in this house are already at zero. Pee pee boy is just going to be pissing on, I guess, beach towels <laughs> the entire time that he's living here. It's it's not good, dude. I think this also might reaffirm, you know, I'm, I'm conflicted here because it's obvious that in the previous stream, Beck was sleeping in that other master room. So they weren't sleeping together, allegedly, potentially, maybe, it looked that way when she was here. But then she proceeds to leave her cat here. Hmm. And a lot of her clothes. Hmm. You know, a lot of the fans are going to start questioning that. They're going to be like, why Why is a lot of her essentials, why are they being left here? I don't know, it's something that uh, will just itch a little bit at the back of your mind. So we'll keep a docket. You can't close this door for cer for certain. Uh, I don't really have a skincare routine. I use, actually, I just bought some new stuff. Um, I use a pretty basic body wash. It's called Swagger. I also use Swagger deodorant. I literally just bought a new batch today because I was running low. I'll show you that if you really want skincare stuff. But it's literally body wash and water. And a shower. I really thought that Old Spice you know devices you know deodorant shampoo conditioner body wash all that stuff i really thought that that was just a fad that all men would go through in high school i thought most men would grow out of that you know i'm not i am judging but i'm not judging you know it's whatever i just think it's also funny that he he's sort of like coves in the sense where he talks about swagger i've used swagger all this time swagger helps me get the ladies and i smell fresh you know, it's just like tactical soap. What's the difference? I don't really see a difference. You know, maybe you should upgrade to something a little bit nicer. You know, I think men realize pretty quickly that uh, women's shampoo and stuff smells better and also is usually a little bit stronger. So, take that into consideration. Keep your deodorant, switch your shampoo. Danger, danger, danger. Danger, danger, danger. Can't you tell how much he loves Jaeger, guys? Can't you tell? He loves streaming, guys. This is his life. He can't do without it. He loves drinking Jaeger. In fairness, that was a quad shot, I think. It was a quad or a triple. And it's like one in the afternoon. <laughs> so, this man is going hard right from the start. But, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. I mean... Obviously, he's scamming money from people. He's making hundreds of dollars every single stream while just decaying in front of you. You know, I was I was thinking about this recently, about if Blade challenged you to a fight, and if you were to show up, if Blade started to run into your direction, he would, like, disintegrate like a skeleton that was just summoned from a catacomb. His body would just completely melt, and he would crumble into the earth. It would be a tough sight to see, but hey... Three dollar Texas speech, guys. It's it's worth it. Why do the pizza man? I told him that I'm a YouTuber, and someone figured out the address and ordered his pizza, and to not deliver here unless we pay for it. Which isn't really a big deal now that we have like, like Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, shit like that. So I really don't understand how trolls are so e like easily capable of finding streamers and creators' houses so easily. I don't get it. I don't know what they're doing. You know, I've seen some of those 4chan videos of like them triangulating the stars in the skies and like jet streams from planes and being able to figure out the location of somebody. And like I haven't watched every stream of Blade. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna clue you in on a little on a little <laughs> hint and tip that I use when I watch Blade streams. I mostly look at what has the highest view count and what also has like a decent watch time or like length of video because some of the streams are only like two hours. You know, 
He's probably cutting it short for some reason. Some of them, like this one, are six hours, and you're going to get lots of menti moments out of it. And for that, I'm very appreciative. Keep on sending those those pizzas to him, boys. He's hungry. A man's got to eat. New house is good, dude. I know. We got to get some people in it, though, dude. Can't be the only one. So, <laughs> I decided to put this clip in because for some reason, he really gives off that vibe of that kid from grade school that would always wear those flat top bill hats with the tap out shirt, the cargo shorts, and the DC shoes. <laughs> That's what he looks like right now. His hats just don't fit his head anymore. The alcohol is completely deteriorating him. And he's looking like a little seventh grader that smells really bad and says swag and that's legit you know <laughs> figure it out dude i mean i already read this but i remembered nice so Blade claims that this is not a love note, but I think I think this is inking towards a, a repairment of this relationship because somebody that doesn't care and completely splits from the relationship is not gonna leave you, you know, they're not gonna tuck you in at night, let you know that your stream's running, put your teeth down on the table next to you with a glass of water, also cook up some coffee inside of the kitchen for you to get when you wake up, you know, it's just like, and then she says, you're my only content smiley face. Aww. Aww, isn't that sweet, guys? I wish we could all get a relationship like that. Don't you guys wish that you had somebody that loved you so much that they would take your disgusting, fake teeth and put them on the bed next for you as you sleep naked in front of hundreds of people on YouTube? I don't know. I think, uh, I, I think that's what all men, all young, aspiring men dream of in a partner. Hey, Mike. I just got a text. Mark. Mark's upstairs. Oh, okay. Alright, buddy. Thank you for having me over, and hopefully your blinker does great things. <laughs> well, it, it, informs, it informs everyone that they know where you're going. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. Alright, buddy. Oh, she's already here? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Later. Later, dude. Yeah, I really hope that Blinker informs all the other people that you're switching lanes when you're drunk driving it at night because you're all alone, you don't have anybody, and you just smash into somebody. I still stand by that claim of hoping, if he does that again, that he uh, just smashes into the nearest tree and wraps himself around it. I still stand by that, but uh, in the meantime, he has to go... He has to go step into the bathroom and cry for a little bit. It's been a tough day. His, uh... I don't know, mechanic, friend, buddy, probably next door neighbor has to get out of here because it's too much for him. He can't stand it. It's probably like 2 o'clock on a Tuesday. Figure it out. I guess the lighting of that makes it kind of like when I have like that, then the lighting from that makes it look brown. Or this knuckle thing? I don't know. So I remember, I know a lot of you don't like Amberlynn Reed. I only cover when it's essential moments, in my opinion. But I remember there were moments where she would put concealer on her knuckles and fingers and stuff because they were browning. And I think a reason for that is because of circulation in your, in your fingers and your feet. They don't get as much blood flow and they start to darken up a little bit. I think it also has something to do with like diabetes, untreated diabetes, which Blade definitely has. Even though he claims he's taking taking medicine for it, I've never seen it. You were on stream for six hours, dude. You didn't take any medicine, so obviously, even you know his his feet and his legs were first to go. But here come his hands, everybody. So pretty soon we're going to be dealing with a quadriplegic. It's going to be great. We're going to <laughs> we're going to see him stumble down those stairs like a domino and bash through the basement door. <laughs> Some church's chicken. Bunch of waters, bunch of cokes, and baking soda. Not much. Yeah, this is this is what a bachelor's bachelor's fridge looks like, buddy. You got four containers of coke, 
some old chicken and a half-eaten pizza. That sounds really good, dude. Really delicious, you know? And I think that's been a comment that people have been saying for a while, is that it seems like Blade is replacing a lot of meals with liquor, which shouldn't even be overstated how stupid and how destructive that is, because liquor supplies you with, like, no nutrients. Basically none. So, the dude is missing out on, like, everything. Compound that with, obviously, the liquor leading to jaundice and other diseases that he's he's getting through his wounds and all that. I mean, he's going downhill fast, and the lack of food ain't helping. And the food he is eating is trash. So, without Mama Becky there to take care of him, uh, I don't think he'll be getting any essential vitamins and minerals. Not like they were getting a lot before anyway, but, oh geez. No, to answer your question though, I know someone just asked this question like a second ago, and I didn't answer it because something else popped up. Uh, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm getting a super good price, but I gotta sign a long ass lease. It's like 23 months. Who the hell signs a 23 month deal? What is that? I've heard of increments of three, or six or 12, you know, in that increment. But 23 months? What? What is that? Why not two years? <laughs> you know, is there some sort of warranty that happens after two years that, you know, does, does the owner of the house have some sort of deal made out with the city that at the 24 month they're going to bulldoze this building because it's full of, like, mold and asbestos? Who knows? We don't really know. 23 months, pretty weird. It's also... For a guy who is talking about wanting to own his own house, renting for almost two years is the dumbest idea. It's so stupid. You know, renting as a whole, I understand, is, like, extremely predatory in the sense that, like, people can't build up enough wealth while they rent to be able to own a house because of, like, the skyrocketing cost of everything in the housing market. But, like, this dude... 23 months you're never gonna be able to afford a house he was talking about wanting to save like 20 grand it's like okay maybe that's why you need two years i don't know don't don't wallet check guys don't wallet check that's that's what you're all thinking you know keep my hands in my own pockets but i can't help it 23 month rent is dumb stupid i don't get gropey how dare you mother nature if you didn't get gropey i would visit much love dude oh, i don't get gropey dude so yeah he doesn't he doesn't get grubby dude he, do, he doesn't do that uh just completely ignore all the evidence of the streams that we've seen just ignore that you know it, it, close your eyes that's one of the most annoying things about like people online and in general is just like you will see something with your own eyes you'll read something and somebody will go out there and state the complete opposite of it You'll refute it, and they just will try and talk you down from it. And it's like, am I going insane? Am I not supposed to see what you did the Gucci's? Am I not supposed to see that? Am I not supposed to see all the other instances of, of you touching women inappropriately? And whatever. Whatever, dude. You do you, dude. It's your house. It's your domain. It's your castle. Well, I'm calling everyone, dude, because I'm fucking lonely here, dude. I live here by myself. My woman left me. I'm sure she's watching me like, God damn it, Brian, why do you say it like that? But I'm solo here, dude. I'm literally solo here, dude. I want to get fucking people around me, dude. I have not been, like, alone for a day was cool, but after that, I'm used to living with people, bro. I'm used to fucking living with streamers or living with Beck. Now all I got is fucking Nala, dude. Dude, I lived alone most of my life, dude. Or not most of my life, but, like, majority of the time I lived alone, I fucking preferred it, bro. But, like... Uh, I don't have my fucking, I don't have Beck around, and I got this big ass house, and... Yeah, guys, come on, he, he just, he just needs somebody for companionship. He doesn't need somebody to drive him to the liquor store, or to make sure he doesn't piss on every single piece of furniture in the entire house, or that he doesn't enact that domino visual that I represented of him falling down the stairs. We don't want any of that. He needs somebody to take care of him for that. You know, he's not looking for somebody uh, to fall in love with. He just needs a caretaker. Somebody to watch out for him. 
And for that, I respect him for that. It's so vital that alcoholic Brian, who's 40 years old, needs somebody and pretty soon some little kids, some teenagers and young 20 year olds that come in his house to keep him on track and to make sure he doesn't die. <laughs> How pathetic. He probably named his son Bjorn, I know, right? I know, dude. Am I on a do not call list or something? Like, no one wants to talk to me? Jiminy Christmas, dude. I, got, I do have to take a triple dude, but I'm really trying to space it out a little bit, dude. All right. I don't have I don't have my normal babysitter people around me, uh, so I gotta be careful, dude. I gotta make sure I pee. It's just really sad. He literally goes for like an hour and a half during the stream of literally just calling a bunch of random people. He's calling, you know, the pay pigs in his chat. He's calling old friends that he was friends with. Half the people just never answer the phone. It's just really depressing. It's just. Oh boy, and why why would they answer, Brian? What are you going to talk to them about? Hey, yo, check out my house. Check out my house. Oh, you live in Seattle? Oh, okay, well, I guess I'll never see you. I'll just keep calling you because I want to make friends. And I don't know why I moved out here. And I'm going to probably die falling down the stairs. Ayo. <laughs> I, I, no, I lived in Kansas City before. That's why I came back. It's, it's lit. It's... Dude, it's dumb lit, dude. Like, the, that's where the famous Twitch stream happened that got you banned, right? It was in Kansas City, right? On Twitch? No. So I'm unaware of the story of only using me play game banned from Twitch while being in Kansas City. Can't deny it, he's probably been banned from some platform in almost every major city across the country. But it's just. He keeps trying to gas up this house and this location to everybody that actually answers him. That is just, oh man, he's like deflecting so hard, but we have the evidence. We can see you, buddy. We can, I can download this video and I can talk about it. And you're not fooling anybody. I mean, yeah, he probably got this house for like a grand a month or something plus utilities. So, I mean, he's probably doing really well, but even still, it's like, Nobody, everybody sees the flaws in your lifestyle and the your projection of what the future will hold. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone. But to do an IRL stream where I'm literally walking around and people are talking to me naturally without yeah. them knowing that I'm on stream, because like you, me with the selfie stick pointed people, it causes attention. But I'm just a do I'm just a dude with glasses, dude. Why would Brian ever want to be able to record somebody without their knowledge? <laughs> he seems like somebody that's really big on consent, guys. He's really big on making sure everybody's cool with what's going down. He's basically describing the Google Glass, you know, where he would stream with glasses on. And it would be like a small camera so nobody would know. And he could be more conspicuous and, you know, he wouldn't have to hold a selfie stick and whatever. He's also talking about turning this house into basically the fish tank house with cameras in every corner. He talked about wanting to put a pool and a bouncy house in the backyard. Like this guy has so many aspirations for a rental. For a rental. <laughs> like, rentoid alert. Hello, landlord's rule. Uh, only use me blade drools. Well, she left the cat in some of her clothes, but she's going to send for it later. But, um, like, you're a family person, right? Uh, sometimes on the weekend. <laughs> Shut up, dude. I'm making a point here. Obviously, family is most important, right? Absolutely, yeah. Alright, so Beck needs to take care of her family, and her family is not pleased with me because all her family knows is clips. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, though, dude. When, when the breakup was happening and it got stretched over like a month... My PayPal has never been fatter, dude. It's been awesome. But people think that because of that, though, they think it's a script. It's not a script. Beck's not here. Beck's with family. Beck's figuring it out. Yes, I do have her cat, but she'll eventually come get it. Um, I like that he frames this in the way that he's not at fault. 
that the clip channels, my channel, is at fault for the reason why Beck's family doesn't like him. And he's like, well, she just has to go figure it out with her family. And it's like, yeah, because her family's telling her that she's ruining her life and she's ruining her children's lives because she's hanging out with an alcoholic DUI man who drinks and streams all day. It's like, yeah, no doy. That, that future doesn't look really appealing for your kids. I wonder why they would try and pull her back. But Blake can't understand that. He's too litty. You know, uh, fire sales, guys. Fire sales down below. Send them in, guys. I don't think... Dude, like... Uh, my Tinder is from, like, 2012. Should I Tinder it up? Should I get some, should I get some girls in here, then? I wish I had as much false confidence that Brian has. In fairness, he is in Kansas City, so I don't know what the talent is like out there. Can't imagine it's very good. But who wants to date a 40-year-old alcoholic with no teeth, rotting legs, and a 2005 Cadillac? Does that sound appealing to you, ladies? Huh? <laughs> is that what you want? I will say, you're also going at it wrong because... Tinder is the worst dating app. You're only going to find single mothers and 400 pound offensive linemen on there to date. And maybe that's what Blade's looking for. You know, when he kissed and made out with and groped that uh, his, his viewer's wife that one time several years ago. She wasn't very skinny. So maybe that's what he'll look for. He did trash fat ladies <laughs> a little bit later on in the stream. But hey... Maybe now's the change. Maybe he needs more cushion for the pushing. If you're a dude, and you're in the fives, and you're weird, no one's gonna listen to you, dude. Order a bagel and move on, dude. You know how awesome I am? You know how part of the awesome I am is? Because I'm six foot two. He's really stunting on you short kings out there. As a fellow tall king, I can sort of understand the disadvantages that short kings have but as i've just explained through him looking at tinder uh he's not going to do very well on the dating market either it'll help him be pushed a little bit higher up than where he needs to be but this is all coming on the back side of <laughs> somebody donated and said would you rather date a chick with C cup boobs and a decent ass or a chick with J cup boobs and no ass? And he basically goes on this whole spiel about how you're gay if you don't like boobs more than ass. And he goes on like a 15 minute rant about it. He says a, a slur, I'm sure you can guess, that I'm not allowed to put on YouTube, literally every other five words. So it made it hard to clip that part, but I thought I should at least say it to document it for history. Play Weekend Call Out My Name. Here's Call Out My Name by The Weekend. So I'm not even kidding. Probably like 20. 20 minutes prior to him getting in the Cadillac to play music he literally was talking about how well I can't go do that I can't go and blast you know my my speakers in my driveway there are families that live around here I don't want my neighbors to hate me and then he gets a little lit Romney and he's like yeah I'm gonna go do it I'm gonna go smash it up and I just love I, I really love that he has a handicap placard for his car yeah he really needs it guys this guy who his his profession is drinking on stream yeah government help him out hook him up guys let him park at the front of the liquor store all right don't make him walk he's he's he this is his job all right he's more important than you how you doing dude good how are you good what you got going on I'm delivering a pizza man Oh. Second time I've been out here tonight. Dude. Nobody wants to answer the door. No phone. Nothing. Your, your mailbox open. Can't see your address. All right. Well, let me explain to you. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm on YouTube. People. <laughs> no, hear me out. Hear me I'm out. Sorry. People found my address. 
and they just call in and order hella pizzas. No way. Abs yes. This is the second time I've been out here tonight. <laughs> so, uh, I so what 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 I want you to do mm -hmm. is go back to your establishment and say this address. Don't deliver till they pay for it. What's your favorite song, dude? My favorite song. Yep. Um. Or uh, some bassy. That's some journey. Journey? Yeah. Playboy and the Colonist pizza delivery guy, gay so bad right there. He wanted to use a, a slightly different word than gay there. But uh, I think we can fill in the blanks. But this whole scenario is hilarious. Initially, when I was first watching this, I was like, oh man, one of the neighbors is coming outside to yell at Blade already. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait for that for a different day. I do think a pizza man coming for the second time in like five hours to give another pizza is pretty funny. But... For once, Blade actually gives a good piece of advice. Uh, go back to your establishment and do not deliver to me unless I pay for it. Bingo, bango, bongo. Hey, an actually smart idea from Blade? I'll take one every once every, I don't know, 40 years. <laughs> no, thank you. No, I, I don't want to beat the cancel it. <laughs> so another pizza delivery guy is trying to find the house. He can't figure it out. Meanwhile, Blake got delivered a 20-piece chicken McNuggets from McDonald's and is hounding down on him. There's about 30 minutes left after this moment of the stream, but it's just him yelling into the camera. It's not really that entertaining. So, that's where we'll have to leave off. I saw recently he brought some guys in to show them how to work out, so that's exciting. I guess we can look forward to that. But in the meantime, I'll keep you guys updated as more information comes available. appreciate you guys, and until next time, uh, peace.